All right, guys, we're picking her up right where we left off from the last video. Since we had to, you know, mess with that bushing, exhaust had to be dropped. Um, I'm thinking we just leave the exhaust off. Maybe go for a run. This thing is pretty. It's got some good weight to it. I wouldn't say anything less than 45 pounds. Maybe, maybe in the 60 range. I'm not sure. I don't care to weigh it right now. But we're going to fire the car up just to see if we can still turn off traction control with the valves off or with the valves unplugged. So let's see if that works and then we'll down jack, go for a rip. I guess let's see how terrible this sounds. At idle, I guess it's not too terrible, but well, let's see if trash control turns off. It does. Let's see if it goes full off. It do. Cool. I guess we're in the money. Oh my god. This is gonna be a rough ride. <laughs> Again, apologize for the beeping. Audi pre-sense with the airbag and the seat being unplugged, et cetera, et cetera. Very annoying. Um, I, to anybody out there that wants to run a straight pipe on one of these MQB cars, you're crazy. This sounds awful. I'm in so embarrassed. I like idled through the neighborhood because it's so terrible sounding. Now I'm like waiting so there's no traffic at all so I don't have to like give it more throttle than I need to. It sounds crazy. I'm gonna try and launch at like 3,000. 3,000 will be it. Just gotta wait for traffic now. A little bit on nervous. Eleven fifty six or something, one nine sixty. You think launching at a lower RPM would induce less wheel spin? I guess it doesn't. <laughs> I guess we're going full throttle, boys. I wonder if we try it no launch control at all. Of course, we're going to lose a little bit getting immediately off the line, but it might be better than spinning. I never actually like really floor it off the line to know, but it I'd imagine it wouldn't. Maybe we'll try that real quick. Six 
60, 1131. Dang it. Really need some drag slicks. DR2s. <sighs> well, guys, we're in 1104 again, same as I did yesterday. Um, with a little bit slower mile an hour. There's this big bump in, I didn't record that one, obviously. There's a big bump in the road. I don't like that. That's like right at like 128. That could be that, you know, that little bit that I need. Like I've said before, if you try and stop a stopwatch, you can't get anywhere near. I think the best I got was like 0.11 or 0.13 or something. It's so fast. It's so, such a minuscule amount of time that that little bump in the road just messes it all up. I guess that's it. I mean, next weekend we're going to, I don't know, some water park, celebrate the old lady's birthday, and the mother-in-law is coming to town for two weeks. The weekend after that, I think I have guard. The weekend after that is TX2K. And then the week after that, I think we're going to the drag show. So, like, all my weekends are taken up. This will be the last time we try to do this until, uh, until we go to the drag show. I don't think it's gonna be worth taking the cab back off there. Um, unfortunately, I thought it would make a bigger difference. Um, man, but I really need, and like, I know people like donated for me to get tires. I thought these tires were gonna be a lot better than the RTC 660s were since they're made with Hoosier, Hoosier tire and, and this and that, but I don't think these tires are any better for drag racing. this intercooler that I don't technically need to put on but I really want to like that intercooler is freaking dope and it's been a dream of mine to have a big front mount with the quick connect fittings on them and whatever but that's like two thousand dollars that could go towards a proper set of drag wheels and tires that thing isn't going to make me go any faster the dedicated drag tires and stuff will also a couple buddies of mine like they kind of like donated to DBB2 to get me that, like without me knowing. Like out of the blue, like Daniel hit me up, he's like, hey man, do you know this guy? He like threw a couple bucks towards your, your intercooler. Two people did that, randomly. Just because I had been like talking about it so much and they're hyped for me. So I kind of feel like if I were to sell it, I'd be like stabbing them. I just kind of messed up. I don't, I don't want to do that. Things are kind of tight. It's kind of change lanes here as I actually change lanes um, like I'm making the most money I've ever had I've ever made in my life besides being deployed as a civilian because that was big money but you know you guys know with the cost of everything right now it's like I have the least amount of money left over every month now even though I'm making so much more money than I ever have it doesn't help that we bought this house it was like a, we got a good rate at like 6.6%. Our mortgage is almost $3,000. It's crazy. And we have two other properties and we don't touch that money. That money goes into account and you know, whatever, whatever for emergencies. But we have two other houses and one's at like 18 and one's at like, or, or 800, sorry, $800 for almost the same amount of square footage uh, with a bigger garage. Uh, a little bit small, not as nice amenities and doesn't have solar or water softener, but it is irrigated. And uh, anyway, that house is like, yeah. Well, actually, when it was bought, it was around, it's probably around a thousand now since property taxes went up a little bit, but it's crazy. We're paying almost, I mean, you're going from around a thousand to three thousand for pretty much the same house, almost. It's just insane. And then our property back in Virginia Beach, that's like 1500, I think. And that's significantly smaller. So that, I, I could see that. But both those rates are less than half of this. Like, insane what the market's like today. And then the cost of groceries and, and everything else on top. Cost of parts. Everything's just crazy. And then, of course, you throw, now that I have a two-year-old in the mix, daycare, food, clothes, all that. Um, it takes a big chunk out of my pocket, too. But I just need to maybe start get back to selling some merch that might help a little bit if you guys are interested in a shirt i have a
a ton left still, let me know. I took down the website because nobody was buying them and I didn't feel like continuing to pay for that. And I really like that turbo spool, but it just sounds like dog crap otherwise. The vibrations from this is really bad too. I could freaking blend a milkshake with how vibrating it is right now. Anyway, um, I don't know where this video is going to go. I don't know if I'll add more on top of this. Maybe I'll find some time to go back out on a warmer. So that's the other thing. It's 48 degrees out right now, and the DA is near zero. Um, it just went past into, into positive within the last hour. So I think well, maybe like a, like this week, it's going to finally hit 80s. So if I go back out on a warmer day, warmer ground, better traction, then you get a higher DA in the mix. So... This chase for a 10 has been rather fun, honestly, but, man, so close, 11, 0, 4, 126 point something, almost 127, it's insane, I don't know how to take any more weight out of the car besides putting a Kirky right here, and what's that, that's going to save me, what, 50 pounds, I don't weigh, my, I weigh like 155, I could get a skinnier guy in here maybe, but I, I don't trust nobody driving my car like that, so. I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze much more power out of this thing. Maybe once Cobb brings out TCU tuning, because I'm on 034 still, and it's nothing against them. I love this TCU tune. Or maybe once I can get a custom TCU tune with, with Ed, and maybe lower the boost a little bit, or play with some type of traction slip settings or, or something, maybe that'll help to do it on the street. But I think mostly we just need a freaking tire, and we'll have it. Anyway, I'm going to end it here for now. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I really appreciate appreciate you guys. I wish I could be making more content, but money's tight. If I'm going to save up for these wheels and tires, it's going to take a minute. And uh, I'm just not going to be able to buy other parts in the meantime. So it's going to be me making random videos. Here we're going to hit 40K here in the next month or two. Make a video on that. I don't know. Anything you guys want to see? Any updates on anything? Any videos you want me to make? I know there's still a video. Uh, buddy, I think Mark Brown, he wanted me to compare the P3 0-60 to versus Draggy 0-60. to um, I can definitely do that. That's something I actually have that written down. I have uh, some other, like I said, 8 series remind me an X amount of time to go back and talk about certain parts, how they're doing over time. to the meat. Check this shit out. What the hell? Raffle? This thing is sick. Takes me back. This Supra has a CKY sticker. You guys know CKY? An old golf. It is popping. Look, they even let us drink beer out here. Yeah, they, yeah exactly, dude. I'm not a fan of that. McLaren. Oh, yeah, a couple of them. Jeez. Is that a Supra? That's wild. Yep, I'm a car guy and I'm like, oh, this thing, look at the bottles back here? Shit. Look at that plate though. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I had to come out to more of these, dude. Nice. Does anybody recognize this car? I've seen this in some videos. That's dope. That's all I would do. If I got one, I'd probably shoot for like the Billet, big turbo. Yeah, like I said, I got my Altec. This thing is. 
What's even more dope is finally meeting an online friend and chatting for forever. This thing is sick. He's also got a 911 that I need to check out. Ah, damn. So good. The green is so good.